Hey everybody, Arjun from Wizards.exe here. In this video, we're going to be going over servo wiring. And you might be wondering, why is servo wiring so important? And what can you do wrong while doing it? And the main reason we're do going over servos is because of their connector. So the connector is non-keyed, meaning that there is no only there are two ways to put the connector in. And you can see that there is one white wire and two black wires. And I can put the connector in two ways. I can either put it in the way where white the white wire is on the right side, or I can put it where the white wire is on the left side. And one of these ways is wrong. This is something that all robotics teams should know is the correct way to plug in a servo. And on the control hub and expansion hub, on the bottom left of it, you can see that there are uh, three different colors um, where it says right above where it says servo. And you can see there's one that's black, one that's red, and one that's white. This is essentially a diagram to tell you which way you should plug in your servo wire. Using this information, we can figure out that we want the white wire to be on the right side, not the left side. Now we've gone over how to plug in a servo directly into the control hub. But what happens when you want to plug in a servo to the control hub with an extension cable because your servo maybe moves up a lip or it's too far away from your control hub or your expansion hub? Now here I have a servo extension that's very similar to the one in the first global kit. And in order to plug it in, you want to make sure that the white goes to white or white goes to yellow or yellow goes to yellow for FTC teams essentially so that um, then you've plugged it in the right way. Then you can plug in your servo extension cable directly into the control hub or expansion hub the same way, with white or yellow on the right side. One thing to note is how much current or electricity that each of this control hub and the expansion hub can handle through their six servo ports each. Each of the control hub and the expansion hub, each of them can only handle 5 amps through their 6 servo ports. And the maximum current or electricity that a servo will draw is 2.0 amps. And this is called the stall current, is the 2.0 amps. This means that it's only safe for you to put 2 servos on each of the control hub and expansion hub for a total of 4 servos. Even if you do have 6 servos in the kit. There are exceptions for this, for example, if you have a very low load servo, you, you might be safe to put it on another control hub to go to three servos, but it's recommended to stay with four servos only. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com if you have any questions. Thank you.